Peggy 12. Witches. A name given to those who are born with the power of the dragon residing within them. Witches are able to harness the power of dragons, but being exposed to this great and terrible power takes its toll on their minds, eventually driving them insane. The only way to stave off the madness is to consume a dragon's blood. However, this is a double-edged sword, since consuming the blood of a dragon will cause a dragon residing within them to grow, ending with it brutally bursting free from within their bodies. Out of necessity, the witches eat dragons to survive, but they live in constant fear of what comes next. Now less than 10 witches remain alive within the world, constantly searching for a way to fight against their inevitable deaths, for a way to end their living hell. In this video, we're going to teach you what witches are, how their curse affects them, and how they can harness the power of the dragons. Dragons are responsible for taking away any happiness I ever had. So are the witches. So as soon as I was able, I got my sword and came knocking on the gate so I could do my part in taking them all down. The existence of witches is seen as a threat to the world. And in response to this threat, the Empire created the Knights of Requiem to destroy the lineage of these cursed witches. A young warrior named Zephy is one of these knights and has his own personal reasons for hunting down both dragons and witches. But during one of his hunting missions, he is attacked by a dragon that proves too powerful for him to handle and is left for dead. But a passing witch finds the young knight Zephy on the brink of death and saves him by feeding him the blood of a dragon. The blood resonates with Zephy, granting him new magical abilities and the powers of a witch. He soon finds his fate intertwined with that of the witches, as his new power has caused the hunter to now become the hunted. You are a witch. You will bring calamity to this world. You need to realize that is what you are now. The land of Varneria is filled with roaming dragons of all shapes and sizes, making it a very dangerous place to explore for the uninitiated. But if you're brave enough to explore these lands, the risk will be worth the reward. Witches can channel their magical energy into their staff, giving them the power of flight. With this power, you can travel through the areas faster and avoid the danger of roaming enemies. If you manage to draw the attention of an enemy, they will try to ambush you, which could put you at a serious disadvantage. But if you're vigilant, you can attack them first to get the upper hand. Battles in Dragonstar Varnir take place in mid-air, in a battlefield that is split into three levels, which both you and your enemies can freely move between. Most of the enemies you encounter will only occupy one level at a time, but there are some giant dragons that are so large they fight using all three levels, creating a dynamic battle experience. You have multiple attacks at your disposal when fighting enemies. Some are able to hit enemies on multiple levels, or even knock enemies back into traps placed on the battlefield. With Devour skills, you can eat dragons to acquire their abilities. There are many different actions in battle that lead to devouring the enemy. The best way to increase your chances of success is by increasing the enemy's fear level. Attacking an enemy will increase it normally, but attacking a weak point or performing a critical hit will increase it even faster. When an enemy's fear level reaches 100%, a weak point rush will occur. This will trigger a chain of attacks, with the last attacker attempting to devour the enemy. If the enemy loses all their health during the rush, the devourer is guaranteed to be successful. When a character attacks an enemy during battle, their dragon gauge will increase. When the gauge is full, their dragon's power will be awakened, putting them in a powered up state. The dragon's power will fully recover their health, and their physical and magical attack power will be doubled. While in this form, they'll have access to a unique devour skill that deals a ton of elemental damage and devours a vulnerable enemy. Usually, the character that successfully devours a dragon will obtain this dragon's core, which contains unique skills that can be unlocked for that character. But there are certain powerful dragon cores that have skills that all characters can access. In the Dragon Core menu, you can view a Dragon Core skill tree and use the factor points that are obtained from battles to unlock a Dragon Core's skills. Physical, magical, and devour skills will give your characters more abilities to use during battle while passive skills can increase your stats, reduce the cost of skills, and increase the potency of your combat abilities. You're free to experiment with your skills and customize your entire party to your playstyle. All dragons that roam Vanaria are the results of a dragon's power and growth being too much for a witch's body to contain. 
When you step into Zephy's shoes, your actions will impact the lives of the people close to you. Will their minds be overcome with madness? Will their lives end in the clutches of a dragon? Or will you discover a way to break free from the cursed fate of the witches?